Hello, this is Ron Nutter with another video for protecting your online presence. This time we're going to talk about protecting Skype. Now, once you've got Skype set up for two-factor authentication, and this is going to involve you having a Microsoft Live account. The last time I checked, the Skype native accounts did not know how to do this. So you'll enter in your account name and password and click on sign in. It will sense that you're using a Microsoft account and will come back and where it shows email or phone, it will repeat the information that you had already entered. I've just blanked it out for this particular situation. And you'll re-enter your password. You do not want to check the keep me signed in because that's going to allow somebody to come into the account potentially that you don't want in the account or doesn't need to be in the account. And you'll click sign in. Now, this uh, next step is going to involve that you're already having the Microsoft two-factor client installed, and we've covered that in a, in a previous video. But you'll see where this requ request it talks about V1 WPC, you will see a pop-up from the Microsoft account show up on your smart device, and you can approve the process from there, and then you'll go ahead and be logged in. I would encourage you on the I sign in frequent from this device to not have that checked just on the off chance that somebody does happen to use your computer. It does protect you from them getting in or if you're using a computer that is not normally yours or one that's at work, this provides an additional layer of protection from somebody getting into the account. And once you've done that, you're in and going with two-factor authentication for your Skype account. If you haven't already registered your book, please go to www.ronnutter.com forward slash PYOP-2. Enter the information that you're asked for on the screen, and that will let me stay in touch with you as I come out with updates to the book. If I come out with another book on this particular subject, if I do a video course, there's several things I'm looking at. So that will help me keep you informed in a timely manner as possible. If by some chance you haven't already purchased a copy of the book or know someone who would like to, if you would please go over to amzn.to forward slash 1JXCBSN and purchase a copy today. Thank you.